If the walls and Mohammed Mahmoud can talk, they'll tell you the fiery political events that took place in this street. Both activists and artists made sure that its walls served as a document telling you the past events that happened throughout the year. Serving as some sort of open-air museum, bystanders and visitors slow down to take a better look at the changing artwork, making sure to take a photo just in case it changes again. I think it was quite unprecedented, because you can read everything and see everything on the wall, and it's official, it's not like it's, uh, an under-the-table under effort or an effort that is expected to be removed tomorrow or people get caught. It's, it's official that people are allowed to do that and express themselves, so it's a freedom of expression that's unprecedented. Officials last month tried whitewashing the walls of Muhammad Mahmoud Street as a continuation to the cleansing process in Tahrir. Many saw this as an increasingly sanitized political environment, with little room for disagreement or disruption. <laughs> Taking it more as a challenge, artists insist on drawing graffiti and expanding it outside Tahrir area. The walls of Egypt have become a huge canvas for devastated Egyptians who want to express their views freely. Amel Naqib, AEC TV.